federal building in Minneapolis is getting a new name in honor of late Minnesota Senator Paul Wellstone. Wellstone died 20 years ago on this very day. It happened just 12 days before the 2002 election while Wellstone was running for a third term. The plane he was on went down in Eveleth, Minnesota. The crash claimed the lives of the senator, his wife and daughter, staff members and pilots. He's being remembered today for his service to the state. Our Barrett Leone joins us live from Minneapolis. And Barrett, how is the senator being remembered? Yeah, Shayla, right now I'm standing in front of a federal building here in Minneapolis, but lawmakers are pushing to change the name of this building to the Paul D. Wellstone Federal Building. It's all an effort to honor the late senator. Now, this is a joint collaboration between Senators Amy Klobuchar and Tina Smith. They announced their plans this morning. Joined alongside them today, Paul Wellstone's son, Dave. He says his family is honored and everything the building stands for now, which is housing, labor, and travel, is fitting for who his father was and stood for. Everything that my dad and my mom and everybody in that crash stood for, um, working for people, for regular folks, folks like you said that didn't have a voice, um, you know, that's the legacy. Now, Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley also was a collaborator in this bill. They anticipate the bill uh, to be passed in the omnibus bill at the end of this year, so we won't physically see the branding of Paul D. Wellstone Federal Building for quite some time. If it doesn't pass in this omnibus bill, they hope to continue pushing for it next year. Barrett Leone reporting. Thank you so much, Barrett.